Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So currently in Microsoft Power Toys, this is what the dashboard looks like, the user interface. And as you can see, not very appealing and quite a bit going on. Now in regards to the dashboard, it seems now that Microsoft is working on a major redesign of the Power Toys dashboard, which they are making it easier to scan and also designed to handle the growing list of Power Toys tools, I think to just give it a less cluttered look and feel. So you can see over the last year or so, Microsoft has added numerous amounts of tools and new utilities to the Power Toys app. And as you can see, things looking very cluttered. Now, if we just head over to an image provided from GitHub regarding the development of the redesigned dashboard, yeah, we can see that things are looking a little bit different. And according to the um, repository over on GitHub, the idea is to align more with the Windows 11 settings design and make things easier to scan at a glance, where there are three main areas that Microsoft is focusing on. First of all, a full list of modules with toggle switches to turn them on and off. And each one obviously links it to the actual settings page. That currently is the case with the current dashboard, just they've moved all of that here to the right hand side. And then we've got a central, number two, a central list of all shortcuts. So it's easier to find and remember them. I actually quite like that. I'm giving you the shortcuts to different utilities. I quite like this idea. Right at a glance. And then number three, we've got the quick launch buttons for modules that can be launched directly right at the top for easy access and yet to the top right as you can see you've got warnings for things like conflicting shortcuts now according to microsoft they said that the dashboard made sense when power toys had fewer tools but now they say it needs more function and a design that obviously scales better to what's going on because there's quite a lot going on now in power toys and i've always said that power toys is almost like its own operating system and at this stage microsoft has not confirmed a release date yet and we are still waiting for our june update for power toys because power toys gets updated at least once a month as you may well know if you've watched the channel Currently, I think I like the new look because as you can see, quite a lot going on. So I think it could make a bit of a difference. But anyway, I'll keep you guys posted as I get the info. And if and when that becomes available, which I think it would, I'll obviously post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.